like a when you are. My first impression of you two, and my lasting impression of you two, was that they were a band in the way that very few people are bands now. The music was a result of those four people, not those four instruments. It was those four people and the particular um, angles and differences of um, approach that they, they brought to the music. With this band, the uniqueness is there from the very first moment that they start playing. There's, there's something about their honesty as people and as musicians and their understanding of their own limitations as well. They build from strength and limitation, and that's a very good um, principle. I haven't seen it in a band for a long time, and I'm sure that all the bands I've ever liked have done that. OK, Tom, we're going to just start some, some recording here. <laughs> We're going to start some recording here. Um, Danny, can we give him... Um, I'll tell you what, I'll just do one take and then I'll go and listen and then we can finish it after this. So you can yeah, we'll get rid of the stuff so you're right. Thanks a lot. experimenting with live recordings. In fact, I had just done a band in my hometown in this big old library that had been abandoned for a newer model. But this big old library was just a fabulous place with extremely high ceilings and marble staircases and just everything you could want out of a big old building. And that turned out to be a real success. And the people felt really good working in an environment like that. And I thought, well, if we can capture a similar thing with the YouTube band in the castle, that would appeal to me. So we uh, thought, yeah, let's give it a shot. We thought we've done three records inside in Windmill Lane. Um, you know, do we really want to go right back in there from the start? Um, and also, there isn't a live room here, and we wanted to use a live room a lot. So we thought, well, why not do it on location? You know, where's a good room? And just by chance, we, we were at the castle, and, and we saw the ballroom up there. And it just seemed like the right room to do it in. And that goes back a long way. That goes back nearly a year. And I think it was the right thing to do, not to come straight into the studio. Um, to work up there was really nice because it then meant that by the time you got to the studio you were really looking forward to it. Whereas I think if we'd just come straight in it would be, oh, we're in the studio again. Should that be there? That was the last overdub. It's finished. It's gone. It's over. This is the evidence. Okay. What is it? This is Bono's master vocal, Unforgettable Farm. Yeah, it is. You choose fourth album. Got it? Do you want to hear in its um, entirety? Entirety. So how does it sound? It sounds pretty damn good there. <laughs> I hope we don't mind a bit of volume, boys. Well, I like it already. Mm -hmm. 